Hi, I'm going to teach you how to draw a very special kind of shark. And I'm going to use a pencil and a razor. And I know we can buy oil pastels at Centro, so I've got a dark brown, an almost yellowy skin tone, and a mid toned brown in between. And the shark I'm going to draw is called a Port Jackson shark. Okay, so starting with my pencil, I'm using A4 paper. You could use A3 if you wanted to do a bigger one. I'm going to line it up. Just going to sketch out where I want the tail to go and the fin. And now I know most of my action's happening here. So I'm going to start here with an eye. Okay, from the eye, I'm going up into an eye ridge, up into another one, and here's the second eye. Remember, if I go too fast, just pause the video. Okay, from here, I'm coming around to the nose, and there's some little shapes on the bottom of his mouth. If you want to learn about the Port Jackson shark, there's a PowerPoint attached. They've got really interesting teeth. They use them to crunch up shells and starfish. And their eggs are very interesting looking too. We find them on the beach in Australia all the time. Okay. Now, here's the gills. One, two, three. And I'm going to draw its biggest fin and way behind it on the other side is another one okay it's its second fin and this is the start of its tail one bit going down and a big paddle going up there's one small fin here and one very big fin here okay now I'm just going to mark out where I'm going to put the colours because they have a beautiful, like a saddle shape on their back. Okay. So I'm going to start with my darkest brown. And I'm going to go around those main lines I started with. So I'm basically outlining the entire picture in oil pastel. If you don't have oil pastel, I bet you have markers, you could be using marker. If you want to try something really cool, you can wet your markers to create a bleed effect. So instead of black, I'm using my darkest brown. Okay, and I'm ready for that saddle shape. Port Jackson sharks are active at night, so people who go fishing at night time are the most likely to see them, and their eyes actually glow, so you might just put a little bit of yellow in the middle of his eye. Okay, now I'm going to put the lightest tone along the bottom where his belly is. The reason fish have a lighter bottom is so that animals looking up from below they look closer to the sky and when animals look down from above they look more like the bottom of the ocean and the last colour I'm going to do is my in between nice and light I'm not pressing too hard This is where you could finish and write your name. But what I'm going to do is put one layer of watercolour over the top. My name is Mr. Nikolai. I've drawn a Port Jackson shark. 
But I'm just going to put one more layer of paint over because I want to create a special effect and I want it to sit on the spaces in between my oil pastel. So if you have watercolour paint, this is a really cool technique you can use. Oil and water don't mix, so the watercolour runs off the oil pastel but sticks to the paper in the spaces in between. It's a technique we use all the time. Now it's starting to look even better. So I'd love it if you open the PowerPoint and you learn about the Port Jackson shark. It's a really interesting animal. It's one of the very, very few sharks that can sit on the ocean bed without moving. Most sharks, if they don't have water moving over their gills, they will die. And here we are, the Port Jackson shark.